Now here's what we know so far. Through our investigations, we have found that President Biden did lie to the American people about his own knowledge of his family's foreign business dealings. The question is how much can these Republican swing voters independents take? You've got January the 6th. <laughs> You've got the, the apologies for January the 6th by the Republican House. Mm -hmm. You've got them talking about these people that killed cops, uh, calling them, uh, again, if you, if you don't think so, ask, ask the family, okay? Ask the family who killed the cops, and they'll tell you it was the rioters that Donald Trump whipped into a frenzy and sent to the Capitol. You've got abortion. Uh, an issue that's going to be, again, once again, as it was in 22, a huge issue in 24. You've got a federal judge declaring Donald Trump to be a by any standard definition of how we and institutions define uh, And now you've got an impeachment uh, all, simply because the craziest people on the back benches in the House of Representatives are demanding that Kevin McCarthy call for an impeachment. I, again, this is, this is the White House's dream. Right. It's very confusing if you are a real Republican, where you go, because yeah. this is not the Republican Party as we once knew. I'm asking about this news that uh, Speaker McCarthy has formally launched an impeachment in her has said sure. he's going to... Oh, my God, really? Oh, my gosh. You know, oh, it's devastating. <laughs> Ooh, don't do it. Please don't do it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hey there, guys. Welcome to the channel. So it's finally happening. Kevin McCarthy is becoming a man, and he actually initiated an impeachment inquiry into Joe Biden. And let me know in the comments if you're as surprised and as shocked as I am, but I'm just so accustomed. We've all become so accustomed to Republicans just being all talk and all weakness that I almost can't believe that he's actually starting this ball rolling. And interestingly, he's skipping the vote, which is a departure from his previous stance that there would actually be a House vote on the on the inquiry. You know, he originally said that there would be a vote on even launching an impeachment inquiry, and then, of course, followed by a vote on an actual impeachment. But he's skipping all that. And it makes me wonder if there was just too many Republicans that would vote against, and he didn't want to expose them. And if that's the case... I get the game he's playing and I get why, but I don't, I'd prefer that they be exposed. But in any case, this is a bold move from Kevin McCarthy. Obviously, this is huge, and we've got a ton to get into, guys. But before we do, thanks to everyone that's been subscribing and leaving such great comments. Really, really appreciate the support. A lot of fun talking to you guys in the community. If you haven't already, please help us with the algorithm. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, most importantly, share. Let's get into it. Now, here's what we know so far. Through our investigations, we have found that President Biden did lie to the American people about his own knowledge of his family's foreign business dealings. Eyewitnesses have testified that the president joined on multiple phone calls and had multiple interactions. Dinners resulted in cars and millions of dollars into his sons and his son's business partners. We know that bank records show that nearly $20 million in payments were directed to the Biden family members and associates through various shell companies. The Treasury Department alone has more than 150 transactions involving the Biden family and other business associates that were flagged as suspicious activity by U.S. banks. Even a trusted FBI informant has alleged a bribe to the Biden family. Biden used his official office to coordinate with Hunter Biden's business partners about Hunter's role in Burisma, a Ukrainian energy company. Finally, despite these serious allegations, it appears that the president's family has been offered special treatment by Biden's own administration. Treatment that not otherwise would have received if they were not related to the president. These are allegations of abuse of power, obstruction, and corruption. And they warrant further investigation by the House of Representatives. That's why today I am directing our House committee to open a formal impeachment inquiry 
into President Joe Biden. This logical next step will give our committees the full power to gather all the facts and answers for the American public. That's exactly what we want to know, the answers. I believe the President would want to answer these questions and allegations as well. This effort will be led by Chairman James Comer at the Committee on Oversight in coordination with Chairman Jim Jordan for Judiciary Committee and Chairman Jason Smith on Ways and Means. Man, absolutely. So let me break this down political strategy-wise. So initially, McCarthy had mentioned that there would be a vote on launching the impeachment inquiry. But now, I guess the problem with holding a vote on launching an impeachment inquiry is that he possibly doesn't have enough votes in the House to do that. There are always moderate Republicans who are hesitant to do anything difficult, and especially and going after Joe Biden is one of those difficult things, you know, because they don't, people don't believe there's enough evidence or whatever. But the whole point of this is to actually look at the evidence. You know, you don't decide you don't have enough evidence to look at more evidence. It just doesn't make sense. I don't get that whole frame of view. But uh, anyway. That's crazy to me. But at this point, you know, I honestly don't care if he has the votes to impeach him or not. I just want all this evidence on the record and in the view of the public. Bill Clinton committed perjury to Congress. He was, wasn't impeached, fully impeached, because his own party bailed him out. They voted to save his butt along party lines. And this is probably going to work out the exact same way. There's always a few Republicans chasing an MSNBC career to cover up just about anything. And there's always enough Democrats, like every single one, who are going to put their party above their country. They always will. And uh, I think this is definitely a smart move for McCarthy, because if the vote goes bad, one, he can't just do it anyway. And two, it would be an absolute and total humiliation, man. I could just hear it now. The mainstream media would have a freaking field day, claiming that Republicans got nothing. Can't even get their moderates on board with impeaching Joe Biden. It was all a big witch hunt. The, same old song and dance, same old story. That's how it would, that's how it would go. And their mushy brain followers, they would just eat it up. But now, here's the cool thing about McCarthy. If he was a swamp rat that I used to think that he was, I think he would have held that vote and just let it fail and try to look like he was doing his part. So I like what I'm seeing. He's leveraging power. And he's not leveraging weakness, which is new for a Republican support launching an impeachment inquiry into President Biden? Well, I mean, it's it's hard to say at this point. I think it, there's a difference between an impeachment vote and an inquiry. The inquiry mm -hmm. would give us another tool in the toolbox specifically to look at Joe Biden's bank records. Everyone's screaming about the evidence. Where's the evidence? The bank records hold all of the evidence. And if the American people, Caitlin, if you could see the suspicious activity reports that I have seen on the Biden family, you would too would probably support an impeachment inquiry just as a tool to get more information on on specifically the bank information, bank records of Joe Biden and his family members. That's an important tool in our toolbox. So do you, does that mean you do support an I'll impeachment inquiry? I'll support an impeachment inquiry. Impeachment vote is totally separate, but uh, but an inquiry I would support at this juncture. And why would you support that? Because there are you're on one of the committees mm -hmm. that is investigating this. There's three committees investigating yeah. all of this, and there's a special counsel that is uh, investigating Hunter Biden, has been investigating him for five years now. So mm -hmm. why, why does there need to be an impeachment inquiry if there's already several My, ongoing investigations? Yeah, great question. My understanding is it will give us access to Joe Biden's bank records. And if we can connect the dots and show the American people where the bribery allegations stand, where the money laundering stands, showing through vis-a-vis -vis the bank records, that is a way to do that. If you could see what I have seen, then we can't share the SARS reports because they're confidential and that would be against the law. So we have to prove it be, via other means, via the bank records, for example. If that gets us Joe Biden's bank records, then I'm going to support it because everyone should know what actually happened, what kind of businesses were involved, how Joe Biden was involved, the kind of money that was involved in these schemes is astounding. You would be shocked. It would You would blush, Caitlin, if you knew. If you so see I what I... So yeah, another Republican I actually like. She is absolutely tough. And she's essentially saying, based on what I've seen, I support an impeachment inquiry. However, you know, when it comes to actually voting to impeach Biden, we need to have solid evidence to convince the American public that this is legitimate and not just a witch hunt. I, I really like this. It makes a lot of sense. Compare that to all the times we heard from Adam Schiff promising evidence and then just fading away, aided, of course, by his mainstream media allies. So Let's talk about them for a second, how they and the usual suspect Democrats 
they're going to react to this. You know, their response is important because after all, you know, they are the biggest supporters of the Democratic Party. Without them, without their support, without their incessant propaganda, none of this stuff is possible. And they make a very, very impressive habit of misleading their poor viewers with talking points literally delayed, you know, straight from the party bosses. And they're going to tell these mushy brain victims of propaganda that the only reason Kevin McCarthy is doing this is because of Marjorie Taylor Greene, because of the Freedom Caucus or the far right Trump MAGA Republicans that are holding McCarthy hostage, you know, all that stuff. And, you know, they will probably never, ever, not one time mention to their viewers what the investigation or the allegations against Joe Biden actually are. But, you know, honestly, I think they might have to. I think there's, you know, some things to be revealed that we've never seen. I hope. I think they might have a smoking gun or two. And let me know in the comments your thoughts on that. So he's really, you know, he's not really doing a terrible job. You know, he didn't just, you know, get his mic cut off. So the speaker taking no questions, but I'd like to continue having some questions answered, if possible, with Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz, who is with us. And, of course, Ali Vitale, who continues to be with us from Capitol Hill. Congresswoman, your reaction to what you just heard. Kevin McCarthy and House Republicans, particularly the extreme, extreme MAGA wing of his caucus, are essentially just an arm of the Trump campaign. That, that's, that's what this is all about. Uh, they are succumbing to the pressure from Donald Trump uh, and from their right-wing MAGA base. And they're allowing Donald Trump to hold our economy hostage. They are allowing, uh, they, are, they are giving in to their e extreme MAGA wing and they will potentially likely crash our economy all while engaging in, and in th 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 they are afraid. They, they know they have nothing there, that there's been no evidence. And so they're using this word inquiry he just said they're going to move forward on impeachment. So explain to us, if you would, from the House. In the I'm sorry, of Donald Trump. What is, what is the difference between an inquiry and impeachment? The only, there is no difference. On, it, it, they have to vote on whether to move forward on impeachment. It's, that's what the vote is. That's what we, when we voted on impeachment of Donald Trump, who we impeached twice, because there was real credible evidence that came up publicly and was evident and obvious, um, not, not this hazy gray area that they're hanging their hat on. They've acknowledged there's no evidence against Joe Biden. Uh, they, they are going to vote, the House has to vote, to move forward on an impeachment period. They're adding the word inquiry like they're still going to do some investigations. They've been investigating for months and months. They've acknowledged they have no evidence. They don't need to vote to move forward on impeachment other than Donald Trump has pressured them that they are a wholly owned subsidiary of his campaign and they are giving in to their extreme MAGA Republicans because Kevin McCarthy knows that one member can move to remove him and the only thing he cares about is holding on to power. So yeah, another Republican that I actually like, you know, she, that's a tough woman. And she, what she's essentially saying is, you know, based on what she's seen, she supports an impeachment inquiry. But for her, at least when it comes to actually voting to impeach Joe Biden, they've got to have solid evidence because they have to convince the American public that this is real. This is legitimate. This is not just a witch hunt. And please compare that to all the times we heard from Adam Schiff promising evidence, swearing that he had it, and then just fading away, never being questioned about it, aided, of course, by his allies in the mainstream media. Let's talk about them and how they and the usual suspect Democrats are, are reacting to this. You know, their response is important because after all, you know, they are the biggest supporters of the Democratic Party. Without them, without their propaganda, without their support, none of this stuff happens, you know. And they they have a habit of misleading their poor, mushy brain, you know, viewers with talking points literally delivered straight from the White House. So they're gonna tell these mushy brain victims of propaganda. But the only reason Kevin McCarthy is doing this is because of Marjorie Taylor Greene or the Freedom Caucus or MAGA Republicans that are holding McCarthy hostage. They will never, probably ever, not even one time, mention to their viewers what the investigation of these allegations or the allegations against Joe Biden actually are. But I think they're going to have to. You know, I think there's some things to be revealed that we haven't seen here. I think they might have a smoking gun or two. We're going to see how this goes. But it's exciting that it's finally happening. And, you know, and win or lose you know we're gonna get things out in the open but anyway that's just my take guys let me know yours in the comments if you haven't already please make sure to like comment subscribe most importantly share the channel we'll see you in the next one